Well, he is the most decorated sniper in military history, but now the American sniper is being compared to the D.C. sniper who terrorized a community and killed 10 innocent people. The movie, which portrays Chris Kyle, opened this weekend, and in a series of tweets, liberal writer Max Blumenthal launched an attack, saying this, quote, I haven't seen American Sniper, but correct me if I'm wrong, an occupier mows down faceless Iraqis, but the real victim is his anguished soul. He adds, John Lee Malvo, another mass murdering sniper, would not be glorified on prime time. Well, Scott McEwen was a personal friend of the late Chris Kyle and co-authored the book American Sniper with him. He joins us now with reaction. Scott, we thank you for joining us this morning on Fox and Friends. What was your reaction when you saw Blumenthal's tweets about Chris Kyle? My reaction was that not only was the comment completely absurd, it shows a complete ignorance of the job that we're asking our United States military to do in defense of this country. That's right. I mean, you know, when you hear him being compared, he's comparing Chris Kyle, who's just following orders, doing what we have called him to do as a nation, comparing him to someone who just viciously murdered Americans here. It was just a, a complete assault. In your opinion, you, you knew Chris Kyle well. Okay, you know what, you know his heart. How would he react to really the assault on his fellow service members in uniform doing exactly what he did? Because that's what Blumenthal is asserting here. I think Chris would 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 really react in a in a way that uh, would would be to have the people of the United States to ask the question really what are we asking our United States military to do in defense of this country the United States military members such as Chris Kyle are not the ones that choose the wars that we go to fight they are asked to go and do the fighting and it's the politicians that ask us ask our men and women of our military to go and it's certainly not the the people that are in uniform that have given their lives or have put their lives on the line to defend this country and i think any comparison like that blumenthal made here is completely absurd and unfair to the men and women of our services who are out there and really drawn the line between us and and the, and the people that would like to destroy this country it seems quite evil to do that particularly because there are a lot of people who came out in defense of Blumenthal, some saying that his crass statements were not personal, they were just political. But when you look at when he tweeted this, I mean, right on Christmas, Chris, he would be devastated to know that someone was attacking him. But not only that, his family's listening to this on Christmas Day, his tweets going across. I mean, what a lack of courage to do that in the minds of many, saying he was brainwashed. He's like a mass murderer, stripped of his humanity. Your response to this being a personal attack, not just a political attack on Chris Kyle and his family. Well, I, I know that uh, this individual did not know Chris Kyle. Chris Kyle was a defender of, of our troops, and you know his, his work as a sniper was to do overwatch of Marines and other military members and to, to protect them and to bring them back here to the United States. And Chris was always and should be known as one who saved lives of the United States military and brought them back to this country. And to lose sight of that, the way Blumenthal has done here, is completely absurd. And I would encourage Mr. Blumenthal, you know, in a current day, daily, if you will, topic, to go over and bring his point directly to ISIS right now in Iraq and encourage them and to talk directly with them and see how he is, he is, he is responded to by those that would, that would take and kill every American citizen if they had the opportunity to do so. We ask our men and women of our troops to go and fight for us and for him to respond in this fashion and to, to compare him to some mass murder in the United States is completely out of line, completely yeah. absurd and ignorant of what these people do to defend us. Well said, and a challenge there by Scott McCune. We thank you for being with us this morning. Thank you. You got it.